paint my nose. Um, I guess you can really. <laughs> Maybe that's just. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's LaClavia. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. So today I'm doing something a little different, but I feel like it's needed. It's um, really the reason why I made my channel in the first place is because I want to help women be confident in their bodies and learn to love themselves and just all about really good energy and positive vibes regarding your self-confidence i can't really start this video off without you know just saying this about what's going on so black women you're beautiful we are beautiful from our hair textures to our bodies to our resilience and strength just know that we matter black men matter black lives matter yes all lives matter but right now we need to focus on black lives right now because black people are dying black kids are dying black women are dying at the hands of police brutality so that needs to be addressed and we need to come together in solidarity and we need to end racism and end this trend of having to say say his name say their name because we're not mattering to the country obviously so black lives do matter I'm sorry if you're offended, um, but this is, I guess this is not the video for you, but I cannot start this video without even mentioning what's going on. So black lives matter. Yeah, today we're gonna talk about body positivity and just confidence and how to love yourself. So if you like videos like this and also fashion styling videos, don't forget to subscribe and yeah, let's get into the video. So you may see me looking down because I made some notes. I want to just make sure I get everything that I want to say out because I do tend to ramble sometimes. So I just want to make sure I'm getting like the important part. So I may be looking down a little bit as we're going through the video. Um, so, so today we're talking about being the best version of yourself and just being confident. So my friends and family and just people who just really get to know me just always told me and point out that I'm always so confident and just like how I carry myself. So I just definitely wanted to like, ex or not explain, but you know, just give my tips on how I learned to just love the body that I'm in. I mean, it wasn't easy getting here. Uh, I still work on that every single day, but overall, I would say I'm a pretty confident person. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is you have to stop comparing yourself to others. Like that is, I know it's easier said than done, but there's always going to be someone that's prettier, skinnier, or whatever more than you, but that does not devalue who you are. You're still pretty, even though the other girl is pretty. So stop comparing yourself to others. Like it's not worth it. You are beautiful and pretty just, just the way you are, just because someone else is skinnier or prettier does not make you any less. So just know that you're gorgeous. You have to start loving yourself. You are gorgeous the way you are. Just focus on what you love about yourself and not focus on everybody else. Like for me, I wish I had a bigger butt, like a more, you know, the butts that are in right now. My butt is not like that. My butt is, I call it a pancake butt, but I love my face, I love my decolletage, I love wearing things off the shoulder because I just like this, you know, area. I love how clothes fit on me. So just fo focus on things that you love about yourself and not comparing yourself to anybody else. I know it's so hard, but just don't. Just focus on you, focus on you, and focus on you. That is the biggest thing, focus on you. And my second piece of advice is just to invest in yourself. And that not only means just monetary, but you know, wearing things that you love. Like I like wearing off the shoulder tops and dresses because they make me feel pretty. Just wear like what makes you feel comfortable and pretty. And also don't worry about the size. Like I've gained like 10 or 15 pounds during this quarantine and I'm wearing a bigger size. I don't feel comfortable, but I it's not breaking my confidence. I'm still, I'm very confident in myself. I can work out and get back to where I wanna be, but I'm still gonna present myself in a nice way, dress up really cute 
and just put effort into my look and my hair make sure to do my makeup just putting effort into yourself it also really helps with your confidence as well because you're doing things that make you feel beautiful on the inside and that starts to outpour what's on the outside and that ties into my third tip is that being confident is not just based on how you look it's about how you feel on the inside so to be confident on the outside you need to work on being confident here and that's just by continuing to do things that you love focusing on yourself and just not being negative do not let those negative thoughts get to you like i'm so proud of the woman that i'm becoming i want to be 30 in a couple weeks and I am so happy about where I am right now in my life. Like, I'm so glad that those voices in my head are no longer negative. They're very positive. I'm like feeling like mentally drained, but then my brain is like telling me, you can do this, get up and do it, get up and do it. So I'm, I'm so happy about that I've learned to change my mental um, change my mental confidence because it's definitely helping me on the outside be more confident and I'm gonna be honest, like I'm I'm not shocked, at it, but just coming through, going through what I've been through in my past, like I'm very happy about how I am now. Cause I had a family, like a close family member always told me that I was ugly, stupid, fat, even used my skin tone against me. But if you know me, you know, I speak my mind. I have a smart mouth. So when I started throwing that back at them, like, you're just saying that I'm fat or ugly because that's how you feel about yourself. They stopped and thought about that. And I was that was in middle school when I really just started standing up for myself against this family member. And they're the main ones asking me why am I so confident and just, you know, looking to me for tips on how they can love themselves more because they were actually feeling that way on the inside and just feeling out at me when I was in like the freaking seventh or eighth grade. So just learn to love yourself and don't let negative thoughts and negative energy affect your mind. Keep your mind confident. And my last tip is to do things that are outside of your comfort zone. So I went to New York last year, I did a solo trip because none of my friends wanted to go or couldn't go and I didn't wanna like, I just wanted to escape, but I was so scared about traveling by myself it was actually the second time I've ever been on an airplane. So I went to New York by myself and did a solo trip. I'll leave the vlog like a mini vlog last year when I went. Um, and I came back just feeling so much more confident about myself. Like just doing things that you're scared to do is another way that builds confidence in yourself. And I'm horrible at interviews as well, like job interviews. And I started like to really study and practice and I got two job interviews, so it just helped me with my confidence more. I'm still working on like public speaking because I'm like scared to do like a speech or something, but just doing like things that you're scared to do is another way that will help you increase your confidence. Yeah, I think that's really it. That's really the main things you need to focus on is really focusing on yourself, investing in yourself, making sure you're keeping your mind your your mental <laughs> confident and not just letting like outside and negative people and vibes just come into your life i'm so okay with you know pushing people to the left because i have no time or energy to have anybody messing up my vibe i'm good over here i don't need that that drama so yeah, that's what I can preach to you. Just be sure you're investing in yourself, learning to love yourself. I used to, I actually still do. I, you know, look in the mirror at yourself naked. I walk, I walk around my house naked. I sleep naked. So you just have to, you know, learn to be comfortable with yourself and just loving yourself. And you know, don't dwell on anything that you cannot change. Like, I can't change my skin tone. I can't change my nose. Um, I guess you can really, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have said that. Oh my God. Okay, just not, not focusing on things that you cannot change. Like I can, you know, go to the gym and lose weight. We like plus size women, I guess um, they correlate their confidence with being fat or being skinny. 
and I used to I know I remember like a long time ago I used to say I'm not gonna have sex until I'm skinny and that did not happen <laughs> are gonna like your body they're gonna be happy that you're even letting them you know have sex but I, I can't believe I used to say that I used to say I'm not gonna have sex until I get skinny I'm not gonna do this till I get skinny and it's like what does being skinny have to do with anything you just make sure do what do with what you want to do and don't let those negative thoughts hold you back so yeah that is the video it's kind of short and sweet to the point i thought it was gonna be a little bit longer because my notes were super long but i mean sweet and short to the point it's it's not gonna be an overnight process it took me years to get to where i am right now and uh you'll be so happy when you get there trust me when you get older like you really start to care less so remember that and i want to thank you guys so much for watching and if you like videos like this don't forget to give me a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye